Hello, good people. My name is Grace. And my name is Pascal. And welcome to our... Welcome to our world. Kada! So! <laughs> Team Cool Boy, y'all. Hi, people. My name is Grace. As you can see, with my overall, I'm a member of Team Kubwa. <laughs> Welcome, people. Um, I'm excited today because I want to show you, or rather, I want to reveal how the house looks after um, the painting. So, uh, Crown Paints has this team called the Crown Your Space team. And basically, what it entails is um, you have a, an interior designer who comes to the house and, you know, just does a recce, looks at the house, checks the walls. Um, you give them um, an idea of what you want. Of course, they have a chart. They give you a chart. You look at the paints and the colors, and then you choose what suits your wall. Then they have the Tim Kubwa, as you can see. Tim Kubwa are the guys who are professionally trained to paint. And these guys are great people, and they're very, very professional. They do their work to <clears throat> the detail. <laughs> they're amazing. So we have just finished with crowning my space. But before I show you the after, I want you to see um, the before. I want you to look at how uh, the process was when the guys brought in the paint, when the guys were painting, some of the things they were doing to cover the, the doors, they covered the walls. What do you call them? The, the sockets. Yes, that's the word. Um, how they covered the house with black papers uh, so that, you know, to avoid paint getting into your items. So this is Crown Your Space. Courtesy of Crown Paints, my name is Gracie Kirapa, and this is our house. Let's do this. So I think for this one, what we'll do is just scrap it off fully mm -hmm. to get to the beer hole. Mm -hmm. So once we get to the beer hole, we do a coat of uh, waterproofing first. So if you have a wall that has this issue, so yeah, we're going to fix it and we'll see how it will look after. Mm -hmm. And then we won't have this problem. So no, doctor, doctor, fix it. That will be sorted. As you will see from the video, uh, most of the house remained uh, white because our color theme is white, black, and gray. So even when I was choosing um, the theme, uh, the colors, I was very, very specific not to, you know, have a lot of color in the house. And as you will see, our living room has um, a lot of windows, so there's enough light coming in. And we chose, you know, the white because it brings in the light and it reflects, so the house looks really bright. Which is a good deal as you're choosing colors. Now, I want to show you our first feature wall, and it's this wall. Gosh, you should you should feel it. It's really good texture. I chose this shade. Um, um, as you can see, it's here on the screen. The name of the paint is here on the screen, and it was very intentional because the paint, the, I mean, the color of the seats is gray as well. So I wanted the gray to still be maintained. 
it's a feature wall meaning it's one part of the wall that pops more than the rest and it's texture so if you put your hand it's very you know a bit rough has that rough feel but above all it has glitter so when we put light which we're going to do as you can see we still you know took out most of the things we had a bracket there and we removed it and we're going to you know do something different from that and then our wall hangings are here the, the, the pictures we haven't worn, um, hung them yet because we're still trying to figure out what to go where and this is our tv yeah <laughs> so that's our tv wall but it goes all the way here you can just follow see they did that and made that whole wall you know complete because they needed to complete this side of the wall so we have that and this is the side of the dining so it's only one part of the wall because it complements the rest which is the TV uh, wall. So, and the rest of the room remained white. This is our dining. This is white, brilliant white. It's beautiful. And you can see they painted the roof as well. Not roof, the ceiling. <laughs> so we remain with the white as we go. That is very intentional because like I said, we want the light. Now, let's go to the next room. Like I said, white has a way of making the house really bright. And so, just behind the cameraman is a really long window <laughs> and it brings in so much light so having you know this place painted white was the best idea ever because now the staircase is very bright as you can see and you can actually literally you know see every corner it makes the room bigger it makes the room feel um really cool trust me so now let's go into the baby room this is the first room to have the work done. Come on. Now I want to show you what is um, supposed to be the baby room once we, you know, we're blessed with a baby. <laughs> or babies. Who knows? Now this room, I always wanted the room to be black and white. I used to tell Pascal that our baby room needs to be black and white. But you know what guys? I saw this paint and I fell in love with it. So please forgive me. I cheated. I cheated on the car. <laughs> Here is the room. It's still empty because nothing is here yet so this room is usually very empty until we have uh, the reason to pip it so look at this this is also texture the name is right here on the screen this is the name of the paint and oh my gosh isn't it amazing you know why I loved it because well you're always wondering how how to choose colors based on whether it's a boy or a girl but this one has a feel of both you can look at it from afar it has a peach sense it has a pinkish there's a bit of purple from a distance i don't know it looks like it has a blue somewhere but it's very neutral it's neutral so if you have a boy or a girl this paint will still work depending on what you prefer remember it's what you prefer so like we've also still left this room uh, this wall white so that um, our adventure, <laughs> we have a boy and we want to add a bit of color, maybe a blue or a what? What other colors are the boys? Purple is for girls, right? Mesh. Color of boys and girls. Blue. 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 Yeah. So if we wanted to add a blue, we can do that on this wall. But if we get a girl and we want to keep it, then I'm gonna do um, stickers maybe on this wall. So. That is for another day, but for now, I'm in love with this car, guys. It's amazing and it's textured steel, so even if you put your hand on this one and this one, this is smoother than this, so this is textured and it's beautiful. So, yeah, the baby needs to come because her room, his room is ready. Let's go to the other rooms. This is the second room. This is um, one of the guest room, um, preferably for children. When we have, like for example, our nephews, when they come over, um, this is where they sleep. Or when we have a lot of guests and the other room is occupied, the rest come here. And I'll show you in the makeup uh, makeover video once it's all set up and ready to go, including the centerpieces and everything. But for now, we concentrated on the white because again, this room has only one window 
but it's also a bit big so it allows so much light to come in and that's why we maintain the white so the room is still bright it's still well lit and of course we chose a very you know specific color which i'm going to be showing you in the makeup uh, makeover video but for now this is our fast guest room so we're in the bedroom and um this is another wall uh feature wall that we decided to to go with a different color so if you remember the wall at downstairs is a bit light the gray is a bit light this is a bit dark because it's a bedroom man and i wanted to create a really warm feel for us i'm going to do some work here so please don't mind that we just removed it to paint and then we're gonna go back to you know how things were or maybe even spice them a bit so this is our bedroom and we've maintained the rest of the walls to be white but don't you let place your color yeah color and light white will always make your room uh, bright so if you want to make your room bright if you want colors that will make your room pop white is definitely a go-to and that's why to your paint room zote i'm a wall zote he color because then it would have made the house really dull so that's why we have a feature wall feature wall is only one part of the wall that is you know a different paint different paint color yeah so this is richard wahi and it goes all the way to here next to curtain of course now we know i love for you see it's um, a different shade i mean a darker shade of what we have in the curtain so okay a couple against it it's still a bit brighter and then yeah the rest of the room is white so in this house we decided to do three feature walls the first wall is the tv wall second wall is in the room where we we're going to you know have the baby room and the third one is in our bedroom there you have it guys we're done with the tour and i hope you enjoyed you know seeing the different spaces that we've created courtesy of campaigns and if you have a house and you'd like the same thing done you can still contact them and they will you know bring over the crown your space team and this will be your story so thank you so much to crown paints and to crown your space team the team kubo guys the interior designer the guys who manage the whole project and of course our house is a deal right now and keep it here because in a few days i will be showing you um what i did with the spaces the different walls of course require new pieces and i'm going to be showing you what we'll do with all of them so keep it here for the house makeover reveal for now adios <laughs>